All right, today we're going to do a little video about the battery. I hopefully converted over to alum. Um, I should have made a video of the process, but there's a lot of them on the internet, so um, you can just put in lead acid to alum conversion, and it should take you right where we need to go. I combined a couple of processes. There's other videos on the internet about how to rejuvenate your battery desulfate with using Epsom salts. So for the purpose of this test I did that as well. So as you can see here's the Epsom salts I used uh, about two tablespoons per uh, per cell. Uh, let that sit in there for a while and uh, then dumped it all out and then using distilled water mixed with baking soda I rinse the battery out about three, four times uh, to neutralize the acid and so on and so forth. So when that was done, I mixed granulated alum, which is what you use for pickling, into the distilled water. Um, I used two of these one and a quarter ounce containers to about a half a gallon of water. And that made my alum mix. So this is this was last night so today here's the battery you might be able to hear it it's percolating a little bit but that's okay I don't think it's gonna hurt anything and if you look at the battery charger I don't know if it'll show but it still shows it's got about a 10 amp charge going to it uh, this battery is really bad if you look at the side of the battery I can get around over here so you can see it it's move it out of the way here. It's swollen. This battery is the original AC Delco battery from 2006 out of my mom's Chevy Colorado, which is right here with the hood up. So I'll walk over here and kind of hard to see but there's where the battery goes what I'm hoping to do is to do this live I don't know what this battery is going to do but I'm going to set the camera down because I don't have a pause button on it because it's cheap and we're going to set it down so I can carry the battery over here and set it in the truck and then we're going to try starting it and see if this worked now keep in mind yesterday when I took the battery out of the truck it was so dead that it would not even turn the dome light on in the truck. So, uh, that's what we're going to try and do right now. So bear with me, I am doing this by myself. Uh, I'll turn around and I am going to set the camera right up here. Hopefully, maybe you can see under the hood of the truck, I can't really tell. But if you're, hopefully you guys can still hear me as I do this. Unhooking the battery, Ooh, which is toasty. That's okay. And we're gonna set it right down in the truck. I'm trying to pinch my fingers in it. Okay. And there is the battery in the truck. So follow along. We're gonna go get the caps, which is up here. I do not like Vel Delco batteries. They're sealed. So I actually had to crack the top loose. I mean, this thing may never be used in the truck again, but, I mean, for test purposes, it's a good start. So like I said, I don't trust that this battery is good because of the swollen sides. So now we're going to attach the battery cables, which are stashed over here somewhere. There we go. We need the positive. And the negative. All right. Oh, there we go. And I don't know where my wrench is. Should have been laying right here. Uh, oh, <laughs> one time I actually put my tools away. Let's see. kind of hard to do this through a viewfinder. I've never never really done this before. It's kind of a new thing. Uh, there we 
go. There's the negative. And I'll do the positive. I apologize, like I said, I'm doing this by myself with a really cheap little digital camera or uh, camcorder. I need to get something fancier if I'm going to keep doing videos, which I enjoy. It's kind of neat to be able to be on YouTube. I have a one I did a couple months ago where I learned how to pick locks. And uh, there we go. Those are tightened down. And there are the keys to the truck right there. So we're going to go around to the truck. Well, we've got a dome light. I don't know if you can see that. But that's promising. Oh, here we go. We'll put the key in the ignition. Well, it's binging. That's a promising sign. Ooh, nope. It tried to start. You can see it lit everything up. Let me turn the headlights off on it. See if that helps. Nope. Well, what we're going to do, since I have plenty of time, you can hear it binging. But that's better than what we had yesterday, considering this battery is absolutely no good. And so bad it's frozen, and you shouldn't even be doing one of these conversions on any battery that's swollen. But, I don't listen to people. I do my own thing. So, let's see. Let's we'll set the battery charger up here. And, uh... Like I said, I apologize for the crappy camera work. <laughs> My, f But, alright, so we got the battery charger on. We'll come over here, and we'll hit it to 50 amp start, which, as you can see, is boosted. And you can hear this thing binging the whole time, so let's walk back over here. I really had high hopes for this, but... <sighs> alright, we're back in the truck. Well, we got the truck running. As you can probably hear and see. Now if we check out the battery charger, it's just about on zero. Maybe I didn't have a good connection. It's entirely possible. I did clean the terminals, but... Or it could be that this battery is completely crap. But, considering that the battery is absolutely positively no good and swollen, meaning that it froze, getting that much out of basically pickling spice is pretty impressive, I think. Um, I'm hoping to try this again with another battery that's not shit. Pardon my language. But, uh... We'll do a little more testing and see how it works out, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and like I said, I apologize for the, uh, the crappy camera work, because I didn't have a very good camera, but uh, alright, well, until next time, uh, enjoy your projects. <laughs>